Okay, thought I'd just run a quick Monday morning radar update. Run through these markets. Um, FTSE 250 through the lows again. To, uh, small caps through the lows. We've got the the main market sort of blue chips, haven't we? Just holding up quite well. Uh, DAX. Go and have a look at the Dow. You know that will. It's the same kind of story, isn't it? I'll just go through them actually. So you know you've got a little bit of a pop in in the sort of blue chip area, haven't you? Um, this is the transports. I'll just quickly go. We had a zone alarm here. What does that mean? You know, I run a trend model. I never trade against my trend trend model. You know, I run my risk against my trend model. So at the moment, the risk models it bounced up to about sort of fifty percent, and then it dipped back in. It was like a bear market bouncing my own trend model, and it's you know it's it's around thirty percent at the moment, which. You know, it's very low risk on the long side for me. And so we had another zone alarm here. First things first, you know, if you're new to the markets, you probably, there's probably a chance you got pretty frothy here and uh, caught up in the FOMO. Um, turn the news off, turn, turn all, you know, influencers, turn them off, you know, just, just get something down in stone. Zoom out those charts. We're in a bear market, low highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, until that changes. And uh, at the moment, we've come down to these areas in, in the sort of markets, the S&P being the last one to land, um, what I talked about months ago, back in May, I think it was, on ShareScope. And the S&P was the last one to land in this zone. And uh, so this, this frothy bounce here, you know, I posted the zone alarm. Don't get stuck, you know, don't get caught offside by this. We've come down into an interesting zone. We've... we've you know, it's it's actually channeling rather than bouncing here. So it doesn't look great, but, you know, that could go either way. But um, we had a zone alarm back here, and we've got another zone alarm recently. Uh, this was about the 14th, I think. 14th of the 11th, this one posted. So th this is, just means the, the bearish markets are in bounce zones, and it's basically en masse. So... You know, it's a high probability sort of consolidation area at best. In this occasion, it went straight down to those targets we put. You know, big picture levels. It's not magic. It's just zoom the chart out and say, where where do you think the, the big players are happy to take these markets? And next thing we go, well, you know, markets consolidate through time or price. See what the bears have got. And uh, they, they're pushing some of these markets. So, I mean... If you're investing and dollar cost averaging, you you know you're not going to be doing anything. You you happily, you know your your portfolios just it's not really done anything for a long time, but but it's happily holding up all right. You know in the FTSE one hundred and that you know it it's happily you know as I am doing in my pension. You know I I, I can see the reports. I know what that style's doing, <laughs> and uh, you know I've got twenty. I started investing in the in when they offered the PEP, the personal equity plan in the eighties. And, you know, I, I've got a few decades under my belt of, of uh, investing. And, um, you know, I, I moved to the, uh, the screens to actively trade stocks. Now, a little bit too much information, but actively trading stocks, trend following, is what I share at my site, and uh, it's, it's about capturing trends in small to mid cap stocks. So I'm going to be, you know, more sort of tuned into what the markets, you know, these these are the mid tier stocks in the 250 and the AIM stocks. You know, we, we want to see what the markets are doing as a, you know, the the risk fountain will overflow from those. Uh, blue chip stocks and we want to see when it starts to trickle down into into these other stocks so we want to see how how this pullback happens see if the bears have got what it takes to take the lows out again you know or do the lows hold and we start to see more stocks now what do you want to see i'll i'll just bring over you know one of the stocks and it's you know this is old news uh, this is old news to my site. I will just, you know, 
this broke out in in mid the, the later end of 21 so it's been it's been trending for maybe uh 14 18 months or something active low high low higher high so as the let's just say this is the market and we've just got this lower high in the market and let's say the market holds the lows holds holds those prior lows and as the market's just drifting off consolidating you know this is what you want to see you want to see the stocks what refuse to go down as the market goes down and and start to constructively ride some kind of trend you know i've got some moving averages on here you can do the same you know uh do not go on a 50-day moving average to do this stuff the market doesn't care about uh, that time period get on a monthly put a 10 month up what's like a 200 day and see how that is is holding up i'll just clear this off you know this is a 200 day this is what this stock was doing it was refute you know it it broke broke to the highs that's what that's the action you want to see when the market you know drifts off you want to see the stronger stocks now most people out there who've, who've not been in the markets very long will be telling you you should you know you pay you're paying top dollar for this now you know this is what you're trying to capture so you know it's psychologically it's going to be hard but i'm trying to show you what to see before you get to this end that as you know obviously we know what's going on up here now it is what it is but um this is where the money was made by capturing this stock before it made this move you know you, you're scraping around for pennies here you know even after this gap up but um you know this this is what you try this is what i'm trying to capture at my site you know this is what we do so i'm not going to say on mass you will see this but you will start to see it trickle down from those large cap stocks into the mid tier stocks and into the small caps you will see sectors rotate and in fact industrials have been really good for quite some you know the last month or so I've seen it in the us uh, this one's been running forever in a day um so it's it's a hurry up and wait sort of thing isn't it now there's going to be a lot of recessionary talk and you know just don't get sucked up in the news of it turn it off go and study you know you'll find out that most markets bottom in recessions and you'll also find out that leading stocks bottom before the markets so you know my job i turn up every day and i watch the market unwind in front of my eyes because that is the truth that is what's happening live you know end of day closes more important than intraday price you know weekly closes more important than daily closes and just turn up every day and just ro rotate those screens and, and you know you what you've got to get out of is being uber bearish when the market i'll just go back to uh i'll go back i'll bring the s p up i'll go back to 2015 because we had a little bear move here lower high lower low obviously brexit and the u.s election was all involved here and the market went back to highs everyone was so bearish here but this is where all the good action in the stocks you know the the stocks were showing the the good action the relative strength you can back test that just go back and put put some dates in here for relative strength and it resulted in an you know a fantastic trading uh trending market where stocks you know a lot so many people got caught selling into strength because they thought it was just a pop but what i'm trying to share today is how we traded this market you know we saw the action and we saw 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 all the stocks sort of consolidating and uh we we could see the accumulation and that to me is not a market you want to sell into a, a short-term pop um it's a market you want to ride a trend in so 
you know, just trying to get a few things out of my brain and into this video of how to look at where we are in this market at the moment, you know. It's it's not about picking the bottom. It's it's about just trading the right hand edge and watching watching the opportunities set up in front of you. You know, you, you've got to know what what your pitch is and how you're gonna trade it before it actually sets off on that journey. So hopefully uh you know you found something interesting in here. If you did, you might want to just go to my website and uh there's lots of free tutorials there. What will uh, cover a lot of this stuff? I'll leave it there.